right guys welcome to the page again camera's creations uh today we are changing front brakes on a 2017 uh cadillac ct6 three liter twin turbo all wheel drive we're just doing front brakes so it should be pretty easy uh the rear brakes i believe we have to go to a dealership to have the scan tool to uh basically extract the uh, electric parking brake but we're not doing that today so it should be a pretty simple job. I uh, got some tools here. So of course, a jack, jack stands. You need your brakes. Uh, you're gonna need something to push the pistons back in on the uh, caliber. I have this little tool, but some people use a pry bar or something like that, that could work. Um, it has two pins on each caliber. So you need a, uh, basically a punch or a chisel kind of thing and a hammer to push those pins out. I'll show y'all when we get there and some brake grease. And um, you'll have two screws to remove to slide the, uh, actually we're gonna have to use this. I believe just getting the pins out of work, but I got out just in case, but should be just that. Of course, jack stands. And then take the tires off. You'll need a uh, 22. Yep, 22 with an impact or a lug wrench or something like that. Of course your first step will be to jack the car up get the tires off pop the hood take the uh top off the brake reservoir so when you push the fluid back you can have that release and like i said jack the car up so i'm gonna jack it up from the front uh it has a nice jack point here so i always like to jack cars up in the middle get it all up instead of side by side but you do have you like so i'm gonna get these tires off or these wheels off get the car up and uh we'll move on to the brakes but it should be a very quick easy job all right see you all right so i got the wheels off like i said the 22 uh hood is up got the cap off of the uh brake reservoir and these are two pins you're going to hit this is pretty standard for dual caliber or dual piston or brembo brakes you hit those out, and once you hit those out, they'll slide out this way. Kind of push this clip in, because it got pressure on it. So push that clip in and get those pins out. Take this clip off, and you get your screwdriver, and you just pull uh, the brake pads out. Open up the calipers, and then um, or open up the pistons, and then slide your new ones in. Uh, put a little PB bass on the pins. Just a little bit, you don't want it all over the brakes makes it a little easier to slide out and make sure you wipe it back off when everything's off that way you won't you know get on your rotor so i got this punch it's a little big for the hole, so I got a smaller one, like a little rod to push them, to uh, push the pin on through. So you set it on the end. Couple hits to start it. Like I said, mine's big, so it won't go all the way in there. We got a smaller one, you can do it the whole way. But I got this one too, to push all the way through. And once it's out, you push this clip in a little bit. You should be able to pull it right on out. Before you put these in, you want to clean them and lube them up so it's easy to slide in. Work it out on both sides just to get it out evenly.
I got this tool uh, to push the pistons back in. Make sure your top is off your reservoir. Some people just use, you know, screwdriver and do it, but I don't want to damage the rubber boots. So put that on there and you'll do each set of pistons at a time. I'll put a link in the description for this tool. It's pretty handy. Do it so that bottoms out. Move to the bottom set. And if, uh, I haven't had it on this car, but some cars with age, you'll push these two in, maybe these two will come out. So you can push them all out just a little bit and slide your old pad back in, then use this tool to push them back out at the same time. But this one's not giving me any issues. So now that's even. Get my grease. Wipe this out here. If you got a brake cleaner, you can clean it. PB Blaster somehow still cleans a little bit. I guess it's a slight degreaser. I don't know. And these are the clips these brakes came with, but they're actually too big. They don't line up with the holes. You can see here if I line these up side by side this is shorter so i'm gonna keep the ob ones put just a little bit of grease here to make it easy to slide in and so it won't squeak Then your new pads, you're gonna grease the back of them where those pistons sit. So that'll be just here. You do the whole thing if you want, but I just do what the piston is gonna sit at. Make sure you slide them in, pad facing the rotor. Same with your other one. Take your pins, wipe off that PB blast or any dirt on them. those up so they can slide in easier you only need to do the uh, thicker portions really and this pin right here was going to secure that little washer there Now for the fun part, lining this pin up and getting this clip back in. So you're going your same hole. You have to move your brakes to line them up. Kind of start that one. And your second one. Like I said, I'm gonna use this same uh, older clip. So that's gonna go back in the same way it came out underneath. 
You have to do one at a time because then you have to compress this end to get the other side in. Make sure your pad is lined up. Once you get in the hole, gently tap this back in. You just need to go enough until that crush washer is uh, in that hole and you see it sticking back out on this side as much as it was before. That's about good enough. Now your second one, you're gonna bend this down. Start it in there and get lined up with your pads. So it's gonna take a little force to hold this down. the wheel your pad on to kind of get it lined up you can push it from the other side upwards if you need to This is the tricky part. Same thing, knock it in. To your little crush washer's flat. It kind of stops on its own, honestly. And you'll see here it's sticking out the same amount on both sides. Make sure it's seated in each groove and that's it. Clean up anything and uh of course, breaking man, I usually do maybe about five stops or not stops, but aggressive slowdowns from 50 miles an hour and then uh, about three or four from like 20 or 30. Just don't come to a stop, almost to a stop. A lot of brakes are cool a little bit, like five to seconds in between and should be good. Top off your fluid, make sure it's good. And that'll be it. Thanks guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and bleed these brakes too. Uh, so this is Brembo style. So you have two bleeder valves. You got one on the outside and one on the inside. You take your rubber grommets off, pliers or fingernails, something like that. And I got this nice setup here with a bottle and a tube. You do inside first, then outside, then back to inside. And it's the normal brake procedure where you pump, you know, five, seven times, hold, release pressure close open break so uh, i'm not gonna really show that part too much but you get the concept but inside outside inside make sure your reservoir is filled and topped off and yeah that should be it so you get some clear fluid and no bubbles coming out Alright again. 